Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I want to do week 28 of Roxy's Weekly Challenge and it's Paper Samples Collaged Tags. Um, yeah, so the first thing we need to do is get a sheet of book page and back it onto something that is plainish so that on the tags there's a plainish back to journal on, write on or add whatever you fancy onto it. So the first thing we need to do is glue these two pieces together. And um, for that, I'm just going to use my glue stick. We're going to randomly cut them up into tags so it doesn't matter that it doesn't fit exactly. There we are. So we've got the back to journal on and we have the front. So it's sort of like making, <coughs> excuse me, still got a little bit of a tickle. Sort of like making a master board but with a slight twist of leaving a little bit of space between each piece that you put on. So a master board would normally be all randomly um, overlapped and whatnot, but today we are going to somehow jigsaw pieces together, but leave a little gap in between. So, I've gathered all my nice uh, squarish, straightish, rectangleish pieces, <laughs> um, and uh, we'll see how we how we go. I'm going to end up leaving odd little spaces, but that's okay. Um, these are sticking to the the glue. I'm wondering if I should just go ahead and start gluing because I'll end up fiddling about and they'll move anyway and I can fill in the pieces. Um, I like this. I'll definitely use that over there somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to start gluing down. Otherwise, I'll cover the whole page and then it'll all shugle about. Shugle, that's a good word. And um, so, leaving a little space, a little space there, so that the book page kind of, um, you know, you see the book page through that little gap. See, now this is where I start to fiddle. Oh, that fits there. That bit's going a winner for that bit. I mean, I, I'll end up having to trim. Yeah, that's that finger is all sticky. I'll end up having to trim a bit to fit into the, the jigsaw pieces anyway. But, um, yeah. Put that piece there and then what we'll do once we've filled in the page we turn it over because part of this make is the surprise that you get when you turn it over and cut it <clears throat> and then that makes the tags and you you, you don't know what you're going to get which is cool. I'm just going to put. I think we'll have the black and white. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Weiter. When you have to start just trimming little bits off, so we'll take a little bit off this a little bit more. I've somehow ended up with something that's going to need a little strip there, a little strip here and a little square bit there, squarish bit there. Something here. I think we might take just a little narrow piece of this. Ooh, that didn't quite go to plan. something for in there. Right, let's, that's not going to do it. Let's just cut it. It's too small to rip and I'm not tearing very well, so. Probably when I turn it over and cut it, these little bits will be tiny, tiny little bits, who knows? That's going to be the... Right, so a piece here and a little strip for here. And it doesn't matter if it's all covered because the, the what you call it, the book page underneath shines through. wondering if I should just leave that as book page otherwise it just becomes too patchy and too bitty I think so that's us done with our now we can have fun let's just put all that over there with the trimmer So, 
got my trimmer here and first of all I'm just going to do this edge off and just tidy it up before we do the the main thing right so that's our piece nice now we just turn it over and let's just mix it up a bit and think what do I want do I want to half it down the middle just to get tags that length let's see what size is it it's nine and a half centimetres so and a half of nine is four and a half and a bit of the half so four and a half centimetres just over well, that doesn't look like half oh I'm just going to guess where half is <laughs> that's about half Ooh, it's done now and we want maybe three do we want them do we want it to be tags or do we want journaling cards I think maybe we want journaling cards and I'm just going to do the four and split it about halfway I think not going to be the exact size all the same size but that doesn't matter they could still be tags that size though right now the big reveal see what we've got hmm okay oh that's a good one. Oh, and that's a good one and this one yeah this so this hmm maybe that bit was just too big for the for the piece but we've got four good ones I think and we're still going to decorate them up a bit add things to them so in keeping with the surprises what I've got is I've got some postage stamps and I've got some of these little photo booths photographs and what I'm going to do is we'll just push them up a little bit what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn them over and turn them over and then we'll just mix them up mix these up although I hadn't had them in any order anyway and I think what we'll do is we'll choose at random one photograph for the central focal point <laughs> look at she's and this one oh young lovers right so we've got a central point for our collage. Now let's add a little bit of background. So we will take this one and we will maybe pick out three stamps. So we'll pick one, two and three. See how that goes. Let's see what we've got. We've got blue and blue and a green with a touch of orange. I'm really just going by the colours that we've got. So we want to make a bit of a background just by, we want to keep that orange. So it's nice and bright although the green is good maybe like that maybe nudge this one up a wee bit I 
and then we've got this little blue one peeking through there I think like that yeah okay I think we'll go with that so is that upside down or is that oh I don't know So that was about there. That one there and this one was about there. Lower. I think that's quite cool. And it gets some of these stamps used up. Right, good. So we have was as a finishing touch um, <clears throat> I think we will have be you briefly and I think we will split that. I also had out my Stampers Anonymous eccentric because I was thinking at the end of maybe stamping like a number or, or if there was any big spaces then I could fill in with a little bit of stamping but I think what we'll do is we'll leave the stamping to the end and see where we are so but I'm pleased with that and I might actually take them to the sewing machine and stitch round but we'll see how we go. So, this little lady will pick out three stamps. Now, this one I think will have a big one. Oh, football. Maybe she's into football. This one, pink for the ladies. And a little other one. Oh, maybe we need another big one because of the football. Oh. A nice bright blue. Right, this time we'll do the collage I think on this side. Yeah. So those who follow the channel will know that the whatnots are finished. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> no more whatnots, but there will be something new, which will be we weekly. I hope, fingers crossed, all being well, um, which will be taking the whatnots place. Um, I'm. Maybe we'll have to take a week off 
and not start them till the following week. This, this Sunday would normally be what not day, but I think I will be missing a week so that I can prepare and think a little bit more. That turned out really nice, didn't it? So that I can think a little bit more about... Maybe we'll do her collage at the top. Um, yeah, because I do have an idea, like I said in the last whatnot video. Um, but it's still kind of, you know, whirling round. Oh, that's funny. Two that match, two Antarctic explorations. Hmm, do I want two that match? Well, that's what came out. That's what came out the pot. Maybe do them down the side. Right, where do we go and put her? I think I still need to just do them down the bottom because that's just which way is she facing? She needs to be on this side. I'm struggling with this one. That's better, I think. Yeah. That'll do it. Yeah, I think I need a little week. This has been a busy week for me, so I've not really had a chance to properly formulate a plan for the the next, and I want to get it right. So we have to wait a week, have a little week off, mull it over in my head, and um, then we'll see where we are, but there will be something coming. <laughs> oh, we didn't put, we didn't give the last lady a word. So we've got words to do on these two. Live your life. Let's not faff about. And be authentic. She looks authentic. Now I wonder if I want to ink around the edges when we're done as well. Not something that I do all the time. Right, these need to be on this side because they're looking in to the card and that just seems to be a rule in my head anyway. Right, let's see. Ooh, Ooh a big orange aeroplane with an orange trim which matches that. That's a bit serendipitous. Oops. 
that one and that one were together, so we'll do those two. Right, we can put them out of the way and we can play around. put that stamp up and down the way. <laughs> Are you like this? Can you fiddle? You could I, I could I'd, I could fiddle for Scotland. If there was a national team championship World Cup for fiddling, I'm your man. Right, that needs to go over, that needs to be there because I want to see the nose of the aeroplane, otherwise it just looks like a tail of an aeroplane. That needs to go there. In the corner that needs to be just underneath it. And that just needs to be there. No, the aeroplane one needs to be up there. That's it. And you always know that I get there in the end. <laughs> Mostly. I'm amazed I haven't glued something on upside down by now. Because that seems to be the way of it. Upside down. And then glue in the wrong place. Yeah, it's lucky that oh, glue stick you can slide a wee bit. <laughs> Otherwise I'd be forever peeling things off. And that'll do it. You'll be glad to know. <laughs> Last one. And I'm still not getting the nose of that aeroplane in. There. There. Mostly in. And a wee touch of blue underneath. So we do see that one underneath there. Right. <clears throat> so in my heart seems good for these two. Okay, now let's see if we want to add a little stamp. Let's go back to Brave. And I think we will because he's got a little space here for maybe a little number. And because this is a, like a full photograph and it's shiny, it's non-porous, I've got my stays on, which I very rarely, rarely use. I've actually just re-inked it for today. <laughs> yeah, I've got a little bottle of re-ink so that um, it would it would work. Because cause like I say, I very rarely... Use the old stays on. I'm not a fan, but sometimes you do need it for things that where ink won't seep in. So if you've got something glossy or shiny or whatever, plastic, then It's not going to do and plus it will sit on that for a little while so you need to um, leave it to dry 
because oh, it's quite smelly. It, um, it will smudge and smear if you, uh, and I'm just going to leave that because I want to clean that properly after using the stays on. Right, I can stamp up here and this is just a, a book page so we can um, we can just use our uh, favour diversifying. I'm just going to stamp this long one up the top there. Identification card stub. There we are. Yeah. Now, I think maybe. That one doesn't need any stamping, I don't think. And I think we might stamp something down here. Oh no, up here for sure. We'll stamp something up there. But I think we'll do something with this lady. We'll need to go back to the stay zone. Um... Something small. Oops. I'm not sure who actually at some point whether to take the, all these um, stamps out of the, the backing rubber because they keep falling out and it's just a pest. Right, I've got this little serial number to for and I need my stays on. Yeah, good. I need to clean that one properly. I think that'll do that one. And we're going to do something up here, which is book page. So that's okay for the Versafine. And we are going to choose a long, narrow one. Hmm. Factory number. That'll do. I have to say, that stamp set is one of the handiest ones I have bought. And I have bought many stamp sets. <laughs> Excellent. Right, we'll just leave all the stamps there, on top there. And what do we need now? I think I will... Um, ink the edges and then once the edges are inked we will perhaps go to let me see if I can find a better piece there we are so what have I got walnut stain I think that might be a wee bit dark. Let me just find something. Rummage, rummage. Of course, it doesn't help that they're in any, not in any order. Vintage photo. Let's go with that. I should have got them organised, but I didn't think I would ink round the edges, but now that I see them, I think they do need a little bit of something, because there's edges that are 
a bit odd and need, I think, brought in to the party. And if we ink round, it makes them all look part of the same piece, I think. Yes. Yes, that's doing the trick for these. I'll do this one. Yes, that's making a difference. Right, now we just need to be careful because these have got stays on on them and I do not want to put my finger, although it does look like it might be dry. I could get a little bit of um, kitchen roll or something and dab it and blot it a bit. I'm not going to put the video off to go to the kitchen to get a bit. Oh, we went a bit. bit. Oh, that's a wee bit more there to make stop that bit looking odd. <laughs> and of course, some of these papers I've used are a wee bit more modern looking. Um, they're a wee bit more uh, from the scrapbook range, if you like. So adding this just think vintage is up a little bit, if that's the word. Now, are we calling that a day or are we going to stitch round the edge? <clears throat> what do you think? I think I, I think I want to stitch round the edge and I suppose could round the corners with my punch but I'm not sure I want to do that. I want to make them into tags and add a piece of fabric before I stitch round or do we want just to keep them as journaling cards or just as decoration for a page? Hmm. I'm going to go and stitch round and then see how they are. Okay, I've stitched round um, and I think I'm good with them being just like that uh, and not add anything else um, to them or turn them into tags. I think they're good uh, just as, well, they could even be a pocket on a page, either a taller pocket or a side pocket. They could just be straightforward decoration. I would even say like on the front of a journal, they could even be a part of a cover. Um, and all they would need is maybe a few wee more bits and bobs. But, um, but yeah, I'm happy with them. And I enjoyed the fun of uh, the surprise uh, of both um, the background and choosing the, the central focal point and the postage stamps. So each one has three postage stamps in one little photo booth, uh, some words and, uh, and a little stitch around. And if you can't do the stitch around, a little fine black pen will do the trick. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, thanks for joining me today. And if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.